All right, so on this segment, I wanna talk about stripping a drain. And what does that mean and when do we do it? Well, we're using a drain in the first place, typically underneath tummy tucks, and that's to take some of the fluid that accumulates underneath the skin when we do a tummy tuck. Now, typically what you'll see over the first few days is just kind of Kool-Aid looking fluid that drains in to the end of the drain or the bowl right here. Now, sometimes you'll see it just flowing very normally and the first day or two it's gonna fill up pretty quickly and you simply empty it and drain it. However, if it stops suddenly, usually in the first three days or so, then we ask people to strip a drain. And what does that mean? Well, basically you're looking at the drain here and throughout the tubing, which you can see, there may be a clot that you can see and then it's empty behind it. I'm gonna show you how to strip a JP drain or a drain that we use typically in tummy tucks. So here's the bulb portion, here's the tubing, and this is the part that let's pretend it's coming out near the skin. And so if you see a clot or it's not flowing, you wanna strip the drain. And the motion is you're gonna take one hand, which is near the skin, stabilize that portion of the drain. Take the other hand and between two fingers, you're stripping or pulling the clot into the bulb portion. And it's okay if it really stretches, you're not gonna pull or break it. Just make sure that you collapse the drain and you're pushing whatever's through there. Now that motion can be a little bit hard if you just have uh, dry hands or you have gloves like this. So you can use an alcohol pad to give you a little lubrication on the hand that you use to strip. Or if you don't have an alcohol pad, you can use any old lotion lying around the house. And uh, the fingers that are gonna be doing the stripping, I just put just a little bit on it like that, lubricate it. Again, we wanna stabilize this end near the skin and then pinch down and push and strip and you're gonna take that clot and move it towards the bulb, and it's gonna be really easy when you have that little bit of lubrication. So how often do you have to do that? Well, I would say if it's free flowing and it just stops all of a sudden, you should try stripping it. And if that happens three, four times a day, that's probably how many times you'll need to do it or if you see a clot, then you definitely need to strip it. So there's really not sort of a cookbook recipe of how many times you should strip it. Just if it's not flowing or you see a clot, that's probably the best time to strip it and get that uh, fluid flowing again. And another common question we get about JP drains is, is the drainage around the JP, where it comes out of the skin, is that normal? And that can be very normal, especially during the first couple of days of surgery, when there's a lot of fluid that's draining out. And so you'll see a lot of fluid that comes through the drain, but also sometimes around the drain. And that's perfectly normal. We ask people just to put gauze around there and just kind of collect that stuff. Now, sometimes when it's not draining through the JP or the bowl portion, and there is a clot, and then you start to see fluid around there, perhaps the body is sort of sending that fluid any way it can outside the body. And since there's a clot in the drain, then it's coming out through around that area. So that's the time that we would ask people to strip the drain, to release that clot, and then let that fluid start coming through where it should go. But it's okay if it comes around it, certainly not a problem. We just ask people again, just to put some gauze to collect it. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe, hit the ring button to be notified of future videos.